because Apple has revealed their M5 chip and second generation Vision Pro. That's right. The Vision Pro is not abandoned, but let's do the M5 chip first. Uh, Apple boasts it offers improved image and video processing. They're saying it is 15% faster than the M4. It's 10 core GPU, now has four times the M4 chip's peak compute, and it can be found in the new 14 inch MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Vision Pro. It seems to be the only real upgrade to each of those things, just the new M5 chip. Man, Apple Silicon is, like, too good. The number of people I know that have M1 Apple Silicon and are just... Super happy with it. Completely happy with it. Super happy with it. Zero desire for a 15% faster, whatever, 10-core GPU. They don't care at all. That's That's from M4. I know. So it's considerably faster from M1. But zero cares. It's just so efficient. I think at the end of the day, what Apple nailed was that um, people care deeply about the battery life of their mobile devices. And Dude, I was getting trolled hard in Arizona because I had a Lenovo little lappy toppy and Lucas and Nick, the people I was with, both had MacBooks and I was hauling around my freaking charger. Like a chump. And they chump never charger. bothered. Because their laptops were totally fine the whole time. Yep. And I would, I would, you know, one of them would be like, well, mine's at 70% battery life. And I'd be like, well, mine's at 100 because <laughs> it's plugged in. Um, <laughs> but like, I was definitely taking the L the entire weekend. Nice. And it sucked. Nice. The latest generation Intel and AMD chips are much better. Uh, Lunar Lake. I can never keep track of Intel's code names. I think it's Lunar Lake, though. They're, they're, think mine's Meteor? Their latest generation is actually really efficient. Yeah. Um, and, like, really good. Like, I was pretty blown away at how well the uh, MSI Claw AI 8 Plus or whatever. The, the latest names, dude. Handheld. Like, oh, stop. Just call it the... Uh. Call it the Deathbringer or something. Call it something memorable for crying out loud. Anyway. Deathbringer. I, I I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. The point is just call it anything other than MSI Claw. The MSI Death Claw. AI 8 Plus. Ew. Dude, remember Skull Trail? Yeah, that was cool. Dude, it was so sick. And we still remember it. It was so sick. 15 years from now, are we going to remember? The logo is so sick. MSI too. AI. Now I'm even, I'm not even sure if I can remember it now. But anyway, that uh, their handheld held up really well in comparisons with the uh, the new Xbox. Yeah, okay. So ROG Xbox Ally X. Ugh. Look at these logos, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my Oh my goodness, this isn't going to work. Whatever. Uh, I totally did actually. There. So cool. Apparently, that was very challenging politically I'm to get sure over the was, line. I'm sure it was, but it was so sick. At a company like Intel. Oh, it was cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, so good luck, Apple, with the M5. Uh, also, new Vision Pro. It's got yeah. the same $3,500 price tag as the first gen. It replaces the M2 chip from the first gen with a new M5. Uh, so you get better memory bandwidth, 153 gigabytes per second, up from 100. It now has a 120 hertz capable display. The M2 topped out at 100 hertz. It gets 30 minutes of additional claimed battery life. It's 100 to 150 grams heavier. That's actually really surprising. Is that just because of the woven strap being like two weaves now? Does anyone actually know this? No idea. How could they possibly think making the Vision Pro heavier is the solution? Someone? Anyone? Chat? No idea. No trade-ins, apparently. Wow. No trade-in, which is insane. I mean, is it insane? They added weights to the back of the new strap to balance it out. That's interesting. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Man, the bigger issue for me was just the way it sat right on the bridge of my nose. Oh, yeah. Really painful. Yeah. Maybe um, they're trying to reduce that. Yeah, uh, maybe. Apparently, I might be doing the short circuit for that. Oh, really? Bit of a wild choice. Yeah, no, it kind of makes sense. Use I mean, the Vision like, Pro once for like 20 minutes on Wayne Show. Yeah, but you like VR. 
Yeah, the last one I used was an Index. Yeah, I mean, that's a good VR headset. You you have your Beyond now, right? I have, Right. It has never turned on. Right. It's literally sitting at my desk. Yeah. It has not gone to my house. Ha- Why would it? It would just be in danger. Yeah. His house is torn apart if you're tuning in a little bit late. Yeah.